So we're continuing to look at the holy shaft, this incredible, apparently insignificant, but connected to so many things object at Giza, part four, Da Vinci Strikes Again. Okay, so we found, just watch some of our other stuff, that the Da Vinci plainly put the Great Pyramid in the Vitruvian Man. Uh, there's a, the slope angle of the Great Pyramid right there that uh, Robert Grant found, and then he and Alan Green did some work, and we've all seen now that Da Vinci, who spent time in Egypt, plainly put the Great Pyramid there. Okay, so, and you can place the Great Pyramid uh, over Giza, not just over the Great Pyramid. So let's look at the Vitruvian Man connection to Giza. Okay, so here's the holy, the, the lines that radiate from the holy shaft there. Okay, so there we place the the uh, Great Pyramid over Giza, not just over the Great Pyramid, over Giza, and we do it based on this. Many people have found this. There's this five times, almost exactly five times the size of the Great Pyramid. If you put the top vertice in the center of Khufu, the lower vertice in the center of Menkara, this, this is formed, okay? So when you do that, when you place the, the, the overlay, puts the, uh, the holy shaft at the peak of the chevrons right there, this overlay. That's incredible because the peak of the chevrons on both the king's and the queen's chamber are meant to distribute weight. That's one of their purposes, so there's not this crushing weight down below. And the shoulder is something that also holds weight. There's this you know, prophecy that says uh, the government will rest on his shoulders. It's saying that the, that the coming Messiah would be bearing the, the government of heaven. He's got this responsibility. And so I used to work construction, carry boards on my shoulder. This is, this is the weight-bearing place. And so there's the, just a, such an incredible connection. And then it's from there that all these exact 100-foot lines radiate to all the monuments. So, wow, just a, a, an incredible connection. So, uh, let's look a little closer at this. So, when you place the Vitruvian Man there, there are these slanted lines there that we're thinking, well, you know, uh, what's there, you know? So, here's the overlay uh, of the Vitruvian Man. And uh, so, here's a picture, a close-up of these lines. Will Wire pointed out in a note here, take notice of these segment lines. They're slanted, you know, so, so Da Vinci puts slanted lines there. What for? Well, if you take the idea of the Philosopher's Stone, we're supposed to put this on a map. Okay, so when you follow those lines on the five times a Great Pyramid Vitruvian Man, it goes down to this spot in, in the Giza Desert. And I just put these white lines over. There's a V there. Uh, and so here's my marking on, on Google Earth. Okay, so uh, what's interesting, n right near where those Da Vinci markers point is where Misa, the head of of Orion is. There's a top view of a pyramid we found there. Uh, we, we went out to, to try and discover the, uh, the head of Orion, the constellation on Egyptian soil. I didn't think we'd find a pyramid there. I just wanted to say I'd been there. And then we found this pyramid. I don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. It's just sitting exactly where Misa, the head star of Orion, would be on Egyptian soil. Crazy. I, I did, again, when we set out uh, to, to find this, we went through like Grand Canyons in, in, in the desert to get to that point. But that pyramid is where the Mysis star on Orion would be when you place Orion on the Egyptian soil. So that's just an aside, but it's down near where the Da Vinci markers go. So where does the red line point? You know, uh, so again, what we're doing is we're, you know, laying the Da Vinci out and just simply following the line. So where does that go? Where does that, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that's where the pointings go. That's where the two Vitruvian man lines go down to that point. Okay. So uh, let's, there's where you put the Vitruvian man. You follow those lines down. And again, I showed you where those lines go. Uh, you know, it's, it's like Da Vinci did this other places. He's got this pyramid like structure above the belly button of the Vitruvian man. Now we don't have a pyramid like structure above our stomach, but I found that those lines that aren't on the human body, but Da Vinci put them in the Vitruvian man, those point to the Menkara pyramid. We know that the great pyramids there, that's the red, but I found the Menkara pyramid in the Vitruvian man. So, you know, Da Vinci's plainly, you know, toying with this stuff. Okay, so here again is where, where it goes So uh, on Egyptian soil. So now that he points us to this V, where does the V lead us? That's what we're looking at here. Okay, so let's uh, take this bird's eye view, go up here, and now let's go down, uh, and, and you'll see the, uh, the V markings here down in the Giza soil, down in the desert here. This isn't actually Giza, it's farther south of Giza. Okay, so let's look closer here, and you can see 
you can see the V there. And I just put the lines through what I thought was the center of the V. Okay, so when you follow that V line that, that uh, Da Vinci led us to, I'm just going, going out on Google Earth, going up. Let's keep following that line. Where does it go through? Oh, look at this. This is incredible. It goes right through the Great Pyramid. And not just the Great Pyramid. It goes through the entrance of the Great Pyramid, and it goes through the Holy Shaft. Unbelievable. Okay, well, what about this other one? What about the, that blue line? You can see in the V there, I'm just trying to, you know, line out what Da Vinci does. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go down through Google Earth and just see if it touches something of significance. Because, we're, you know, this is just desert, desert. Don't see anything really of significance here. This is desert. This is desert. What's going on? We're getting farther away, farther away. There's a road we're crossing, another road. Oh, oh now this is the Fayum Oasis because as soon as you hit green and you're southwest of, of Cairo, you know, you're at the Fayum Oasis. And there are a couple pyramids in the Fayum Oasis. Okay, so let's look and see. Well, we're, uh, and here we go. All right, so here's the Pyramid of Lahoon. Center Strat the second, you know, uh, I've been there and uh, it's a, you know, part of the 12th Dynasty Renaissance. Uh, construction that's got a, a certain amount of mystery attached to it. So this is incredible here. Uh, the right side of the Da Vinci markings point to the Pyramid of Lahoon. Okay, wow. And so, you know, there's a top view of it. Now, I've often thought that the Fayum Oasis there looks like a tree growing in the forest or like an alpha, you know, a Greek alpha. And then when you look at the whole Nile, you go farther out down in Luxor, which is this, you know, incredible, you know, holy spot with deep connections. It looks like an omega. So you've got the Alpha and the Omega on, on the Nile River. Just uh, interesting there. Okay, so let's review what we just found. Da Vinci intended the Vitruvian Man to encrypt the Great Pyramid. Okay, we believe that. The Vitruvian Man is positioned in a certain way in relationship to the Great Pyramid. And there is a five times Great Pyramid on the Giza soil. So the Vitruvian Man can be placed over that five times pyramid the same as he can be placed over the Great Pyramid. It seems like Da Vinci intended both. And then you follow those lines down on the Vitruvian man's arms, and they converge on a V formation. Okay, so we that V formation then points to two pyramids, the Lahoon and the Great Pyramid. It goes through the Holy Shaft in doing that. So here I am at the uh, 12th Dynasty Lahoon Pyramid, and then with uh, my Texas adventurer friends at the at the Great Pyramid. Okay, so uh, just so what, what's what's going on here? Well, there's a south side entrance on the on the Lahoon Pyramid, and hardly any pyramids have a south side entrance. They all almost all have north side entrances. So there's a you know a, a difference, but they both have conspicuous burial chambers. So here I am with Will Wire and uh, uh, my son Orion, a photographer, just trying to look for markings on the uh, coffer in the King's Chamber, but this you know famous world famous room, you know the King's Chamber, and then also. Uh, I just uh, happened to join up with Robert Grant's group when we were on separate expeditions, and here I am with Alan Green, and we're in this this uh, the burial chamber under the Lahoon Pyramid, this mysterious set of shafts that the Egyptian government just just opened up. So you know, I'm not sure what what exactly what Da Vinci's saying, but he's plainly pointing us to the Great Pyramid, and, and Alan, Alan Green, uh, who I'm talking with there, says that uh, there's a uh, connection from Shakespeare to the Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid is filled with these revelations. We know that. There's so many of them. And the Great Pyramid points to itself because now you've got the, you know, the Great Pyramid and then these lines going down to a V and then the V goes back up. And I've seen that in other situations. For instance, the south air shaft in, in the uh, King's Chamber points to the star in Orion that represents the Great Pyramid. So what, what I take from this is that the Great Pyramid pointing to itself is that usually in symbolism, the symbolism, like the Great Pyramid's a symbol, let's say, so it points to something else, which is real. But when the Great Pyramid keeps pointing back to itself, it's saying this symbol is part of the reality. It's part of the reality. So the revelations in the Great Pyramid are an end in themselves, showing that, uh, you know, the Alpha Constant is there and all the other things that have been found there, the speed of light, you know, the phi proportions, the pi proportions. So, so it's an end in itself, and, uh, and yet I think it still also points to things. So anyways, incredible, incredible. Thanks for watching.